All right, negotiations resume today as a bipartisan group of lawmakers work on a border security deal that will avert another government shutdown. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell urging the two sides to get together on this. A major sticking point, of course, funding for the wall. Here is something of what went on yesterday. Every dollar spent on ineffective proposal means one less dollar invested in measures that actually keep us safe. Comprehensive approach is necessary. An approach that includes technology, infrastructure, personnel, and physical barriers. We'll continue to support border security, but we're for smart border security. We need a wall, a physical barrier, where the barrier works. If the choice is between shut up or shut down, we've got to do our constitutional responsibility and avoid a shutdown. West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito chairs the Homeland Security Appropriations Subcommittee. She's on the bipartisan conference committee working on a deal right now. I want to talk to you about that deal behind closed doors. Um, there's a lot of pressure right now on GOP senator conferees like yourself, Roy Blunt, John Hoven, Richard Shelby, uh, to cut a deal with Democrats on border security over the next two weeks. Uh, Mitch McConnell says to get it done. As an insider who's been inside these bipartisan committee meetings, do you think it's headed in that direction? I think we're headed in the right direction. We had the meeting yesterday where we all really expressed the desire to reach a conclusion, to have Congress, the House and the Senate, work its will for the American people. And that means border security. There were a lot of doors left open on both sides, I think, enough that uh, we can find the sweet spot with the president and others to be able to uh, create uh, barriers, technology, um, more people, more personnel, all the things that we agree on. Uh, I think we, we took a good step forward yesterday. Uh, we're not easily um, stopped or um, impeded, so we're going to keep working hard. The president tweeting this morning, and I'm going to read uh, right. a couple of them. Uh, large sections of wall have already been built with much more either under construction or ready to go. Renovation of existing walls is also a very big part of the plan to finally, after many decades, properly secure our border. The wall is getting done one way or the other, with an exclamation point. Another, let's just call them walls from now on and stop playing political games. A wall is a wall. So we know where the president stands. Um, we know where Senator Lindsey Graham stands. In fact, last night he told uh, Sean Hannity that if President Trump backs away from his demand for the $5.7 billion to fund this wall, uh, it could actually mark what he called the end of 2019 in terms of him being an effective president and probably the end of his presidency. What do you say to that? Well, I don't think any one thing ends any, anybody's presidency. I think the president has been very, very firm on this because the data backs up the realization that walls and barriers do work. Where walls have been placed, over the over 600 miles that we have, the uh, influx of, Im of illegal immigration has gone drastically down. There are portions of Texas where people are flooding over 1,500 a night because we don't have any impediments, whether it's a wall, a levee, a barrier, uh, a uh, vehicle gates, all of the different options that I would put under the, uh, under the category of a wall uh, is very much needed there. The professionals have a 33-point plan. The, the uh, Customs and Border Patrol, they know where they need physical yeah. structure, and we need to listen to them. Okay, so Democrats, as Graham put it, essentially are telling the Republicans to go to hell. Those are his quotes when it comes to getting any compromise on this wall. I want to talk to you about some more options on the table for Democrats to get a deal done, as McConnell says. Uh, one compromise Graham told Hannity that he would support in exchange for, f for wall funding would be to give three-year work permits to approximately 700,000 undocumented immigrants who were brought to the United States as children, of course, under uh, the former Obama administration's DACA program. Will three years, do you believe, be enough to satisfy Democrats? Democrats. Well, I would point out that one thing in most of the, in all of the conversations we had yesterday, DACA, as it's called, was not a part of the discussion. Uh, I think that we need to focus on what's in the Homeland Security bill, the, my bill, which is, uh, you know, things like TSA and Coast Guard, but also, of course, the, the wall, uh, custom and border protection, what you do with detention centers and all those sorts of things. I, I think as, the, as time moves on, we may get broader in discussions, but right now, I think if we stay focused on the, uh, on the issue at hand and, and wrap this up and keep government open, we can, we can live to fight another day on things like DACA. I mean, I've already voted in favor of okay. this, so I'm not opposed to yeah. it, but I'm not sure that that's the icing on the cake. That's not going to be enough to push it through is what you're saying. 
I don't think so. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk other option. Um, Graham also said people from 10 countries who have temporary protected status should have their legal status reaffirmed, but shouldn't mm -hmm. be given a pathway to citizenship. A, a lot of people are concerned about, you know, a path to amnesty, if you will. Um, this would not necessarily mean, though, amnesty by rewarding those already in this country illegally, correct? No, I think there's a great uh, many of us, me included, who oppose amnesty or the pathway to citizenship. That's pretty clear. That's not going to happen. Uh, I think there's all kinds of peripheral issues around this. I think if we can settle the main issue, which is the border security issue, we can then begin to discuss uh, if 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 the will of the of the conference is to dis discuss all these other issues, because other things thrown in are debt limit, um, budget caps. Um, immigration reform, those are issues that we could maybe look at later, but if we don't get the central issue uh, buckled down, right. it's, we're not going anywhere. All right. Senator Shelley Moore Capito, thank you very much for talking to us thank this morning. You. Good morning to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.